y'all going to take these flat things too far? And somebody's going to get hurt. A Colonial Heights middle school resource officer talks with a high school senior minutes after police responded to the school. I got a, t a teacher that said that they saw a gun outside. For a man with a gun. Nowadays, school shootings and everything else going on is a and big I, and deal. I, and I totally understand you on that. Police say the 19-year-old Colonial Heights High School senior knew the young girl he was chasing outside the middle school, which happened right as school was being let out. You're at the school at dismissal. The kids barely left the building. And you're up here shooting people with Orbit guns. The gun in question is a realistic toy that shoots water-soaked pellets. But in this case, police say the gun was modified. It had been painted black, which made it more similar in appearance to an actual weapon. The toy in question... It was uh, shaped in the style of a small AR-15 rifle. In this case, police credit the SRO for quickly recognizing the painted gun was a toy. However, it could have been mistaken for a real weapon by untrained eyes. People should be aware in this day and age, based on, on what, we are, what we know about school shootings, that you shouldn't be playing anywhere near a school with any kind of device that looks like it might be a weapon. With the suspect stopped for questioning, the SRO explains the real danger to the teenager. Because somebody driving by here that's carrying a real gun sees you point something like that, spray painted black, at a little girl walking down the street, they don't know it's her sister. The consequences could be deadly, which is why school and police officials want parents to have a talk with their students. In this instance, parents need to be careful about what their students are doing. Uh, this case could have turned out a lot worse. In a statement to CBS 6, Superintendent Heidi Ratliff says, in part, Colonial Heights Public Schools is grateful for school staff and the Colonial Heights Police Department who acted to ensure the safety of all during the event on Wednesday afternoon. Police say this isn't a lone incident. We've had reports of this behavior throughout the city. The student is charged with two misdemeanors, disorderly conduct and trespassing. He's due in court on May 22nd. In Colonial Heights, Wayne Coble, CBS 6 News.